very briefly. Yeah, no, we we're really glad that you could see the dynamic that's going in in there like that. Definitely, we need a men's club, and we need shows like yours too that show how expansive a man's life can be. And if he wants to chase his dreams, it's all out there. Everything's on the table, gentlemen. Oh yeah. And and, and in in many cases, I see a lot of guys. And even when I was working teaching apprentice power linemen, many of them come from single mother households. And so their viewpoint on emotions and how to solve problems is a bit skewed for a man. So it makes yeah. it much more difficult for them. And in some cases they overthink everything because they're, they've been trained to be emotional about it. They're, they've been idealized by their mothers into being this perfect beta match psychologically and then released upon the world and the world, the reality of it is it's really not that that is not the case. Right. They get yeah. taught like res like to respond it, it the like stimulus or problem comes at them. They've been taught like the first response should be emotion and then you interpret your solution through that emotion, which is the right. feminine way of doing uh, the feminine yes. way of interpreting the world. Whereas men need to like see problem objectively and separate the emotion and handle it in a logical, rational way. And then they can assess the emotion. And then they can apply. It. Yes, yes, yes. That that's an important skill set to learn too. And that's yeah. why stoicism fits very well. Not universally, but it does fit very well in a space. And that's another. Women are attracted to stoic men.